Hello and welcome to episode three of our Cape Colony campaign here in Victoria 3. Uh, last time we continued to try and build up our economy to the best as possible. Right now we are the 40th largest economy in the world. And if you look, we do have quite the spike in our economy and we're hoping to keep that going up. Uh, and if you look at our GDP per capita, we're actually at 14th in the world, uh, 3.2. So we're, we're doing better than most people in the world when it comes to how much each of our pops is making individually. So that is a good sign for the future of our economy. Now, right now, Great Britain is in a war against uh, Bali over here, I believe. Yeah, <clears throat> not a problem, not our problem. Uh, we're going to keep focusing on doing our own economy here. Now, we do have a bit of a uh, issue here where the Anglican Church, the petite bourgeoisie and the rural folk want to enact cultural exclusion. Uh, oh, right, because we have multiculturalism. I think we got that somewhat recently. I was a little confused. Uh, but we're going to keep multiculturalism. And really what I would like to do is switch migration controls off and have no migration controls. Now, this will radicalize the rural folk, the trade... No, the trade unions will just get mad. But the petite bourgeoisie would also radicalize pretty hard here. I don't really care, though. They're pretty weak. And having no migration control means that more people will be allowed in. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we are a little bit behind on our bureaucracy, and I believe there are institutions I would like to expand upon. Uh, so what we're going to do is... Ooh, this is only 99% of the British market. Okay. Uh, first of all, we're going to build another port. Then we're going to build another government administration building. Yes, that sounds good. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> now, what do I make a lot of? Because that's what's kind of important here. I make food. So I make some groceries get sold on the market as well as liquor. I have a decent amount of fish, but that's not really a huge deal. I have lots of gold. I know that, and I have another gold mine I can build, apparently, so let's go ahead and get that up and running. And we have some coal as well. So we don't really have a whole bunch, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> how are we looking on tech here? Looking good. I would like to get dynamite up and running at some point, but I think it's more important we get some innovation. I don't know, because we do get a lot of benefit from being in the British market, uh, and the fact that we're their subjects is we get a lot of tech spread, I believe, is how it works. Yeah. But the more innovation we have, the more tech spread we get. So, to be fair, we should continue to build that up. Maybe even building a university or two. We'll see. I'm not sure our economy could fully handle that. Uh, but we are spending a lot of construction goods right now. And we are paying the Brits 6.43k every week. Which is sad. It's very, very sad. But we are not even close to a position where we can deal with them. And the fact that they have uh, puppeted Zulu makes it even worse. Because now there will be a frontier... Do we actually have to either be ready to fight the Brits or we just say they're subject? I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Uh, there has been a mining accident in Eastern Cape. We'll let some people get mad about it. <clears throat> Sins of the world, inspired by ongoing reform and no migration, uh, the intelligentsia has been a vision of the future where borders are altogether banished. Uh, that's fine. How do the armed forces feel? They're neutral right now. Sure. Let's do that. Let's get this to where it is definitely going to pass. Please pass. I would like more pops. Because if we look here, we actually have a decent amount now. Okay. That's what I like to see. Never mind. I, I thought we'd add less. But we have people here that are available to uh, to use. And there we go. Large number of you could people are moving to Cape Colony. Okay. Uh, let's go for... Is there any production I need? Any society I need? I mean, to be fair, getting up to civilizing mission would be nice. But we really can't do any major colonization until malaria prevention. So I'm not in a huge rush. Uh, but getting mutual funds up and running would be good. All I'd have to do is get labor movement and organized sports. So let's let's do that. Let's get organized sports up and running. Uh, and if we look here... <coughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, we're going to build this gold mine afterwards. Perfect. Gold, gold, gold. And how's... Ooh. Access here is very bad. Okay, uh, let's build up another railroad then. Because that does actually matter, because that's going to make the price of tools and coal going into this gold mine more expensive, and which just means that we're losing money. Because if you look here, we're getting 7875 for minting, uh, which is pretty much keeping us alive at the moment. Uh, and this will make it even better for us. Yes, we are losing money, but technically we're still making 6000 a month, or uh, a week, sorry. It's just that with this much construction, we're losing 13k. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, no migration controls. Please, 60%. Okay. 
Foreign competition. Cape Colony's job seekers should be prioritized. Yes, I agree. That's unfortunate. Would really like to get that passed. High tension between us and them. Okay, we have low market access in the Eastern Cape, the Northern Cape, Cape Colony. Am I short on convoys? Is that what happened here? Or on clippers? No. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why my market access is tanking so badly. Uh, reduced by 56% due to low shipping lane effectiveness. Now, why would that be? Why would I have low shipping lane effectiveness here? Hmm. Either way, I suppose we gotta build a port up. Yeah, I... I don't know. I've never even gone to this... Please don't crash the game. Okay. Alright, we're gonna close that tab. <laughs> Because I definitely thought the game was going to crash there. I have been having some crash issues. Uh, <clears throat> you only have a strength of 51, so I'm not too worried about it. But if you could please pass this that was up to 60%, I would appreciate it. Would be great. Would be great. Yeah, it should stop at 52 here. It shouldn't go up any higher. Because it's telling you right here that it is a max of 52. Because they're not that strong, there's really not much they can do about it. Uh, which is good. Very, very good. We do have some states of turmoil, Eastern Cape and Cape Colony. Uh, why? 26 turmoil. Which lowers migration attraction. Uh, that's not good. That is not good. Yeah, and I don't even think this infrastructure problem is necessarily anything I've done wrong. We have plenty of infrastructure. It's just the convoys that are having low shipping lane effectiveness. Reduced by any damage it's sustained from raid convoys. Ah, okay. So there's not much I can do about it. I just have to wait. The centers break ranks. Wow. Are we really going to have to abandon this? When it was so popular? Hmm. It'd be kind of sad. Okay, we're also in the negative now. British artillery, ammunition, small arms, man of wars, opium, all very expensive stuff. I have a shipyard, right? I don't have a shipyard. I probably should have a shipyard. I feel like we can make some decent money from that. Uh, I think I'd make more money just from building up my wood production, to be fair. Price of wool, wood is high, tools are high. I'm gonna have to stop building. I, I. I'm getting rolled right now by the fact that this convoy issue is here. The fact that we're losing so much infrastructure or so much market access is is bad. We may have to invest in the Navy in order to protect this path for during wars. I don't really want to do that, but I might not have a choice. I might not have a choice. Okay, let's get some more consumption taxes going. Luxury furniture and porcelain. We already have medium-ish taxes. Okay, we have an election. It's fine. World folk are having a revolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popular playwright endorses reform. You should go for this 20 prestige. I think I still will. We're still going to ensure it's a wider audience. Uh, prestige is just... If you can get it, you should take it. It's really what it comes down to. Yeah, and now we're having a bunch of people migrate in, but I can't do anything with it because everything, the price of everything is increased. This war with Bali is horrendous, and nobody wants to peace out. Actually, the British want to peace out. A white peace, but Bali doesn't want to yet because the British refuse to just naval invade their island. Literally, just go get it. Go, go get the island. How do you have 30 troops? Oh, hold on. Wait a second. How? How do you have that many people on this island, bro? What? Okay, that AI is kind of nuts. Never mind. I guess I I guess I understand why we're not we're not doing that. There we go. Great Ching is out. That's fine. Input good shortage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there is an input good shortage. I'm sure there is. Well, this is one of the things about being underneath someone else is you don't necessarily always have control over what's going on with your market. 
Uh, the duel. Rural folk versus the intelligentsia. Please, intelligentsia, you gotta win. You gotta win, bud. Nice. Except, was a reformer. There we go. We now have no migration controls. Perfect. It's through. The revolution should go away soon enough. Uh, eventually, they will all be... This radicalism will drop and everything will be fine. Still have the market access issue, though. And building infrastructure does not help me. So we just kind of have to sit here and wait. And that's terrible. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you make me wait for the British to fix problems? We all know that's not going to happen. Okay, people are getting pieced out of the war, though. Ugh. And now the British are actually pushing to get all of this. Dude. Dude, you don't occupy him. Just white peace. Just white peace. It's so easy. Just just get out of here. I beg of you. Uh, how's our colonization doing? Okay, it's going well. Going well. Eventually I'll want to colonize that, but for now this is fine. Alright, infrastructure is looking okay. We could go up to our next level of colonial affairs. I think I would rather go for this, but I kind of want to change the law. Uh, I don't really want local police force. I would rather have a dedicated police force. And this actually makes the armed forces like me a bit more. And it actually makes the rural folk like me a little bit more as well. So it says it'll radicalize them, but it won't actually radicalize them. And it makes the petite bourgeoisie happy. I think we go dedicated police force. I think that is just a positive thing for us. We against the landowners makes everybody else happy. It sounds like a win. Uh, let's go... <coughs> sorry, for mutual funds. It says three years. Am I missing another level two? No, our innovation is just too far behind to really get a lot going here. What's additional expenses? Ah, from uh, one of our NACMA things. It's fine. There we go. The revolution's gone now. Still have the same problem, though. About goods. We may need to build up a navy. Before we do that, though, let's go ahead and just build up a shipyard. Because apparently we need Man of Wars. And if the British need Man of Wars, I am more than happy to build said Man of Wars. Uh, we will need to build more forestry. Uh, and I think we'll build it here in Eastern Cape. Just so I can focus on just having pure wood output. Instead of wood and hardwood like we have over here. Like, I guess I could switch over to just prioritizing softwood production. But I feel like that would have bad effects for our market. Mm. Yeah, see, look at this. This is terrible. It is gla glass. <laughs> glass is so expensive. Where do I have glass? Pot? Patent stills? Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. We just got to get out of this war. But no one wants to leave. Bro, just white peace. Like, you're being ridiculous. And you want to puppet Siam in this war as well? Dang, you are aggressive. You are very aggressive, GB. I don't know if I'd want to do that. Sounds like a lot of infamy. How is the infamy doing for Great Britain? Yeah, they're infamous. It's only 30, though. It's not a big deal. But still, though, I don't know. Not a, not a move I'd make. Not a move I'd make. All right. Now we're building up another thing of wood. That's good. That will get some people here working as well instead of just being peasants. Uh, how is standard of living looking? It's looking fine. Market, if I look at fruit, meat. I'm trying to look for things that I actually have that I can export. Like this doesn't matter if I don't make the money from it. I don't know if I make the money from tariffs, if I make the, the trade, or if... Great Britain still makes it. Either way, though, uh, I think we're just going to go for exporting meat. Let's go and export meat to the Americans, to that market, and to the Swedish market. Because the price of meat right now is very low. Uh, and I would like it to go up. That way, these guys make more money. I want them to make more money, please. So right now, really not all that valuable. Really not all that valuable. But the more people are colonizing or migrating to the Cape, Fine. Enact agrarianism. Enact poor laws. No, 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 no. Please. Do not make me enact poor laws. I beg of you. I beg of you. Do not make me do that. That will break our economy. 
Like, we will just die. We will quite literally just die if we get forced into, uh, into that. Okay, we're going to go for uh, military shipbuilding. That should then become profitable. Uh, we could go for reinforced wooden ships. The price of hardwood would go up quite a bit. And that would make too many clippers. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just stick with uh, military shipbuilding. If I go for reinforced wooden ships, then I can go for extensive military shipbuilding. Okay. But it require more engines, more hardwood. Okay, then we'll go for extensive shipbuilding here. Is that actually going to make me money? I don't know. I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. So apparently I do need more hardwood. Go figure. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I, I mean, I don't mind building logging camps down here. It's not like this isn't worth money. Uh, obviously, it's more effective to, to do this. But there we go. Siam has been puppeted. Okay. Devout scandal. People must know the depravity. Let's go ahead and get them out of here. Low market access. Okay. So it seems that it's going up now. Unless I'm crazy. Yeah, it's going up. And look, now we're making money again while building. Ooh, this needs to be fixed. Uh, and there we go. We now have a dedicated police force. Let's go ahead and get rid of road maintenance decree up here. Just so we don't have uh, negative authority. And yeah. That should now mean that everything is being fixed. It's going up slowly but surely. The fact that we have so much turmoil is not good. Not good. Why? Is it because of the factions that they're in and that's causing issues? Uh, yeah, probably. The rural folk have 9.9% .9 uh, political power here. So that would make it to where... I don't know why this UI is being so weird right now. Uh, let me pause. That would be why it's causing issues because all these people are radicalizing because of the fact that they hate me right now. <laughs> that tends to do it. That tends to do it. All right, we'll let this investment pool build up a little bit more. Oh, look at that. We've already increased how much we're paying to Great Britain by a thousand a week. That's because our economy keeps going up. Uh, okay, so this is still expensive. Men of Wars are still expensive. Go ahead and build another shipyard and build another, like, two logging camps, probably. We're going to go into a bit of debt here, but I think it's going to be fine. Crid route needs convoys to increase its level. Okay. Fine. I have ports that I will be able to build at some point. Yeah, we're going to run out of an investment pool transfer here momentarily. Bro, peace out. Oh, it's because the Dutch East Indies won't peace out. Okay, just let this go, Great Britain. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it, I promise. Like, we could go back and do it later. I'll even build some boats and I'll help you out, but just let me be free. Please. Please, my market access, I beg of you. <laughs> I need it. Uh, it says this trade is not effective, and they would be correct. It is very quickly becoming ineffective. Ineffective. Not ineffective. What kind of English is that? Uh, we can send some to the French then. Though how long will I actually do that? Uh, who, who knows? We can send some fertilizer to the Spanish. We can send some fertilizer to the Burmese market. Not that I have the convoys to do it, but hey. Uh, it's a good thought. We'll, we'll build some ports up in order to offset that. New party country formed, okay. People that like digging. Uh, this infrastructure probably needs more help. So, let's go ahead and build another port up. That way I can, uh, make sure that I have more convoys out and about to use. To meal people have begun migrating to Cape Colony. Good. Market access is getting there. It's getting there. Okay, so this brings the price of Men of Wars down to about half of what it was, I think. I'm so blind. I'm so, so, so blind. It literally tells you what it's worth in your market and what it's worth in your overlord's market. I have played as... So wow. Wow. It's literally right in front of me. That It tells you what it's... Yeah. Okay, so it's actually very expensive in the market still. Uh, expensive military goods. Man of Wars. Yeah. 
So I want to keep building my shipyards up. I cannot, I cannot believe. Actually, I can totally believe that for this long I missed that. But I can't believe I missed that. Like, it's so obvious. It's right there. Literally right there. Uh, okay, there's general staff. We can upgrade our types of ships, but I'm not too... Or uh, troops, but I'm not too interested in that. I could try and make a play. For per capita taxation. <laughs> Do I really want to radicalize the landowners and the trade unions? No, I don't. No, I feel like that's a mistake. Can't do anything there. No migration controls is already there. Would love to move to public schools, but in order to do that, I have to get rid of state religion. And no one's really on board for this. Now, the rural folk would get even more mad if I did this. And they would go ahead and I would radicalize the church. What if I only did this? We could use this as a stepping stone. Yeah, you know what? Let's go freedom of conscience. We'll see if this provokes a rebellion or not. Uh, yeah, we can make the free trade party a little bit less friendly with everyone. Okay, come on. I feel like the AI should definitely just drop this and leave. Like, we're all sitting here at zero war support. Like, just, just white peace. I feel like if the AI is at war for long enough and both people are on zero war enthusiasm, this should just do an automatic white piece. Okay, you're angry, you're angry, I don't really care. Yeah, so this is going to cause an issue. It's only going to go up to 52. I think it's worth it, though. I think it's worth it, though. Men of Wars, Artillery, Ammunition. Fine, the British market price is still very expensive, but it's not super expensive here. I think our main problem is that, uh, well, I need to get more wood. Let's just go ahead and max out the wood production here in our capital state. And now that we actually have people to work the jobs, I feel comfortable with that. It feels great. Uh, build another gold mine as well. We could go for dynamite here. Let's go ahead and do that. Hires more engineers, which is more people. Yes, explosives are expensive, but... I mean, look at this minting. 12,562. This is literally our economy right there. Quite literally our economy right there. Any chance we can get this 18.9? No. But, uh, was successfully debated, so it goes up. And this mutual fund, so we get even more minting and cheaper loan interests. That is good. Human rights for more max social security institution investment. Uh, we can go to philosophical pragmatism. Civilizing mission. Steel frame buildings. Oh, yeah, we do not have the steel for that. Uh, we could go for camera for more prestige. That doesn't really feel like the correct move, though. Military-wise, we could look at going ahead and grabbing gantry cranes. We'd have to catch up a little bit on miltech. It's all right, though. Uh, electrical generation. We could go for some electricity. Vacuum cleaning. Doesn't do much. Steel railway car. Rotary valve engine. What does this do? Goods consumption for furniture, tooling, paper mills, steel mill. We don't really use those. Open hearth for steel mills. Steam donkey for coal mines. Yeah, it takes engines and coal, but it hires less people. Honestly, yeah, let's do that. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. I just want my market access to be fixed. That's literally it. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna build a navy up. I know I deleted it at the very beginning, but we're we're building it up 30 years later. Like I'm so sick and tired of not having this market access. We've got to have it. We're building up the infrastructure necessary. We have the ships. Look at this. The Man of Wars, very expensive. Hardwood, very expensive. Get to this to publicly traded for more capitalists. Hmm. Oh, I see what it means. I see. So there's more capitalists here. There's less here. This is more like moving towards being government run or even a worker cooperative. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just leave it where it is. Still just chilling this war, huh? All right. We could just white peace. I'm just saying. Just saying. We could all just white peace and have a good time. Have a, have a great day if we did that. Ooh, the revolution is weakening. Okay. 
I don't know how Bali has this many troops. Or this much population. Like, kind of crazy. Okay, and we passed freedom of conscience. Good. We do lose some authority with that. Uh, so we're going to have to get rid of this consumption tax. That's okay, though. Worth it, worth it, worth it. That makes even more people mad with us. <laughs> we're just making everybody mad right now. Uh, we have professional army. We could go national militia. I'm not really worth fighting for that. Uh, let's go ahead and get public schools. Yes. Actually, we're almost at the point where private schools are worth it. Because I think it's at 15 standard of living that private schools are more effective than public schools. But for now, we'll just lock in public schools. Uh, I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be just fine and dandy. How is this wood production going? Are we actually bringing the price of it down at all? <laughs> Not really. Not really. We could have less people working here. Same thing with that, with that rail transportation. Okay. You're making money. Yeah, you're making a lot of money. Right, is this actually profitable? Barely. Barely. And part of that is clippers. Uh, how are my... If I'm just looking here, convoys. I have 11 convoys. Okay. Good. That means that all the trade routes I've made are working and they're they're doing their things. They can't upgrade, but they're, they're doing their things. And that's what matters to me. We do have an inactive trade route, though. So let's go ahead and cancel that to get a little bit of bureaucracy back. Look at our GDP. It is starting to climb like crazy. Like crazy. Okay, we're building our gold mines now. That is a good place to be in. And I believe our market access is back. No. That's just wishful thinking. Alright, we're making more money now. And we got public schools. Look at that. The Anglican Church does not like that. We are uh, very quickly going through some changes here. Some very big changes that are pretty good for us. Uh, censorship? No, that's fine. Yeah, I, th I think we've done all the big things I need to do for now. Like, we like to push for census suffrage, or maybe even, like, universal suffrage, but I'm pretty sure we'll have some issues with that. Will we, though? I don't think we will. I'm looking at this. This would make the industrialists not like me a lot. But it make the trade unions and the intelligentsia like me a lot more. And it would also start to even out my authority. Not, or it would even out my political power between all my populations. I would have to give up another uh, tax, but I'm willing to do that. I think it'll be worth it in the end. Let's just hope our country doesn't blow up before that. Because now we'll have less loyalists and even more radicals, but that's okay. Discrimination, standard of living. How are you... Discriminate against that should all be going down now. We have multiculturalism and we have freedom of conscience. So literally, there is no one here that is uh, oppressed uh, in any way. All right, so the price of wood is still just absolutely sky high, absolutely sky high. Uh, yeah. So you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna build a bunch of wood here in Eastern Cape. Now that might put us over our infrastructure limit. Mm, it's going to put us at our infrastructure limit. So let's go ahead and build another port up, which is good because that means that clippers need to be bought more, which means this makes more money. So overall, it, you know, it benefits. What does not benefit, we're still in this stupid war. <laughs> Please, for the love of God. The peace acceptance is going down. There's no current peace deal. Just peace out. Please let me go. Let me go. Well, we got New South Wales, Sierra Leone, <laughs> Cape Colony. We're like, please, please end the war. We don't need to be here anymore. <laughs> Britain's like, ha ha, war funny. Okay, this is terrible. Look at this. This is disgusting. How dare you? What kind of border gore is that? That's, you can't even get here. You'd have to go all the way around there. Whatever. Whatever. Reserve wealth voting. Sorry, landowners, you've got no clout anymore. I'm afraid you've lost. Marginalized, England Church, the Petite Bourgeoisie, and the landowners. That is where I like to have my games. Next up, the rural folk, you're also going down. Goodbye. Armed forces, you can stick around for a while. Not forever. Dissenters break rank. Eh, we'll pay for them to get back in line. 
And it's looking like we can actually afford to uh, upgrade our stuff here. And by stuff, I mean upgrade our buildings. That's the word. Buildings. Are we still working with only wood? No, we're working with iron. Okay. Okay, that's not where I meant to build it, but it already happened. So we'll build up two more construction things after all this wood is done. Well, no. I always say that, but it's like, no, you might as well just get the construction sectors done fast. They build so fast. Uh, we do have negative authority here. So it means another tax. Got to go bye-bye. That's okay. We're not making much from those taxes at the moment. All right. How is colonization going? We are still colonizing. Okay. I think I want to go through and grab a lot of bureaucracy. That way I can upgrade my policing stuff to reduce turmoil because, well, we have turmoil and I need to reduce it. That's just the way it is. Like we're losing a lot of tax waste and our migration attraction is tanking because of it. So I think what we're gonna wanna do is build up like three more here in order to get everything to, to run in here. Roots of democracy, uh, public support for universal suffrage. I agree. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. You should all support what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I think it's super smart. Uh, these can be canceled because they are not productive. Well, we're still in this war. It has been an entire episode. An entire episode. And we are still stuck in this war. I have not raised a single troop. All it is doing is killing my economy because of market access. Naval bases? Power of the purse? But no one, no one wants to join. <laughs> no, no one wants to join the Navy? Hello? There's 113,000 people here that absolutely should be wanting to join something or another. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, but I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. Tomorrow, this, or not tomorrow, next episode, this GDP, this GDP is going to go wild. All right? We should hopefully jump up far from number 26 up towards the top well, i don't want to say the top that no no no, that's not what i meant uh, up towards the top 10 hopefully uh, if you look at this line it's going to go up even higher because we now have how much we have not a lot of pops there we have sixty thousand sitting there one hundred and sixteen thousand sitting here that we could just throw into buildings all right tea uh gold iron wood all these things we could just start really doing a lot of that to gain a lot of money and that'll help us colonize this stuff i do need to get to the point where I'm able to colonize here. And someone did bring up that uh, maybe you start colonizing in places with the uh, severe malaria and then you can automatically annex them. And that is something I think works. If it doesn't work though, please let me know in the comments because we may try and make that happen. Doesn't mean that a lot of people will die, but a sacrifice I am willing to make. <laughs> uh, that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.